Having access to home ports, different programs such as Impact, Hope Fund, the Gift of Kindness and the RAF program, how has that impacted your situation? Impacted me um, tremendously. It's helped me and my kids and in Georgia's Creek, Georgia's Creek community. Um, I've been living out there for 19 years. I have twins, they're 22 years old. They both graduated from college, Wright State. You know, I'm proud of that. My son is in the Army Reserves and my daughter is a registered Wonderful. nurse at Ohio Healthcare. So y'all have really helped me succeed in with growing up, growing up um, in a community that really helps people and um, fluctuates on success. They helped me with various programs. They had after school programs, you know, as they was kids and as growing up, going to college. They have helped me with grants, scholarships, and tremendous various amounts of things. They helped me with credit and, you know, helped me really succeed in helping my kids grow up in a community that I can tell that loves and enjoys helping the community. Gifts of Kindness was founded and established in 2014 by an anonymous donor that really knew that individuals were experiencing barriers and emergency needs that were setting them back. And uh, since then, many donors have come alongside with their generosity to help individuals through partners like Homeport and case managers who are working in direct relationship with residents or individuals that are having those setbacks. And then Gifts of Kindness, uh, in the best case scenario can step in and alleviate that financial barrier so that the individual can experience stability. Uh, we are so appreciative of Homeport's strong stewardship of the Gifts of Kindness Fund program. And I think what's unique about the resident services that Homeport provides is you are in relationship. These are residents in your community oftentimes, uh, as we've heard from Nicole, for a long period of time. And so some of those uh, barriers that just pop up could derail a family. And so to know that Homeport is providing other services uh, to the best of uh, the organization's ability. And then in the la last case uh, scenario, uh, Gifts of Kindness can step in and complete the full wraparound services for your residents. We knew that the pandemic would create a situation in which people were going to be stressed and strained to pay their bills. So we created a, a match fund. Uh, we reached out to a number of funders and partners, uh, the Columbus Foundation, Nationwide, Chase Bank, and others came on board to support. We reached out to Homeport. They said they were one of the first to say we have match funds. Uh, so we wanted to create what we called the Impact Hope Fund. We wanted to make sure that we restored hope at a time where there was great anxiety in the community. In creating that fund, we engaged 18 different nonprofit partners who came on board to create access points throughout the community so that people could receive the assistance they need. And so we were able to rally together, um, provide services at eviction court. Eviction court was moved to the convention center and a number of partners, including legal aid, uh, job and family services, community mediation partners, all came together at eviction court to intervene so that we could keep people safe and stable uh, in their homes. You know, when we sit down and we, we, I get a call from someone like Nicole who has a story, um, who has, is going through a hardship and she has nowhere else to turn, um, we try to eliminate as many barriers as possible. Um, our goal has always been to help the resident with, you know, those different challenges, navigate the social services industry. Um, it can be very difficult. We always um, look to um, help as much as we can. Um, and navigate those resources and help them be able to have a stress-free, some, some stressors off. It's never going to be stress-free, but eliminate some of those stressors. Bo, I, 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 actually, I, I think we have a surprise. Okay. Um, I think we have a surprise today for you, Bo. Hey. Okay. <laughs> to present to you on behalf of Homeport the Spirit of Homeport Award for all of the work that you've done with us for our residents and representing oh. everything that has to do with our mission and helping all that we do. Thank you. partner for us. Um, Maude has been a godsend to us on our board and I've enjoyed uh, serving on the board so our partnership is, is really strong. Um, 
but I, I also have to give a tremendous amount of credit to our staff. Uh, our staff. I cannot do any of this uh, but for the strength of our staff. And many of our staff, we've asked them to go on the front lines, to be at eviction court, to put themselves in harm's way. Uh, many of them who have struggled uh, personally and professionally uh, with their own things at home, and yet we ask for them to go out and to serve the community. So I cannot thank you enough for being dedicated, committed, servant leaders uh, who have been on the front line since day one. Um, at a time when many people were at home, working from home, uh, safe in their homes, we were here on the front line seeing the public, seeing the community, and making sure they had a place uh, to call home. And so thank you, and thank Homeport. Um, like I say, it, it's been a tremendous partnership, and uh, I look for good things to happen in the future. Thank you.